Hi, this is Dale Buchanan, the host of Puppy Talk Podcast. Before we get started today, I wanted to let you know of my new book, The Complete Puppy Training Manual. It's available on Amazon in four formats Kindle ebook, paperback, hardcover, and audiobook. You can find it on Amazon right now. It's called The Complete Puppy Training Manual, and I will put a link in the show notes of this episode. I'm Dale Buchanan, and this is Puppy Talk, the podcast that offers free advice and tips for raising a happy, healthy, and obedient puppy. For more information on this podcast, visit us online at puppytalkpodcast.com. Welcome to Puppy Talk episode number 77, How to Calm a Hyper Puppy. In all of the years that I've been training puppies and been to so many homes, to see hyper puppies, I've never been asked once in my life to make a puppy more hyper or more excited. I always get asked by the new puppy owners how to calm their hyper puppy. What can they do or what can they not do to calm down their puppy? When they have the zoomies around the house, they're jumping all over furniture, they're jumping on everybody, they're play biting too much, and so on and so forth. Now, immediately, most people would think we have to set boundaries for them. We have to put them on a leash and put up baby gates and put them in a crate to stop their movement. And that's one thing you can do. But I've identified two things that are more important than that. And I'm going to tell those to you in this podcast episode. To achieve the goal of puppy calmness, it's mostly about trimming the fat or eliminating things you are doing that overstimulate the puppy. In other words, Most new puppy owners unconsciously create and reinforce the unwanted hyper puppy behavior. Calming hyper behavior in your puppy is about doing less, not more. Here are three tips. One, stop talking to your puppy so much with commands they don't know in a high-pitched voice. It's just gibberish to them. It's like Charlie Brown's school teacher. Wah, 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 wah. It just goes in and out. It has no meaning to them because you got to remember an 8, 10, 12, 14-week-old puppy, they don't know English. They haven't been programmed yet. Their software has not been programmed. And even if it has, it's only going to know a few words, maybe sit, down, stay, come, might know their name at this point. It doesn't know English or any other language. So one thing to do is not say so much to them because your voice is going to get them more excited. And here's what I experience when I go to new puppies' homes, where their owners have overstimulated the puppy and created a hyper puppy with their voice. Dixie, sit. Dixie, no. Dixie, down. Dixie, sit. 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 Down. Off. Dixie, no. Dixie, stop. Stop. No. Okay, down. Okay, Dixie, come. Dixie, stop. No. Dixie, no. Stop. Dixie. I hear this every single day when I go to a new puppy owner's home. A better way to do it is first, not say a lot to them, not repeat commands, not use their name so much. And a trick that I learned from acting classes is to be like John Wayne. In a hotel lobby in the 1970s, John Wayne gave Michael Caine one tip, and this was it. Talk low, talk slow, and don't say much. Do you understand how this voice here calms down a puppy when they're excited? Versus this high-pitched voice here, which just gets them more excited. And then we calm them down with a low tone. Even if you're a female, you can drop the pitch down, slow down your voice, calm yourself down with your breathing, and your puppy will get less hyper by about 50% immediately just by changing your voice. I did a previous podcast episode on how to speak to your puppy using these skills with your voice. Go ahead and check that out. Number two, stop touching your puppy so much because all of that affection is reinforcing their hyperness when they are already hyper. Save the affection for a life reward when your puppy is calm and tired. For example, if your puppy's jumping and they're running around and you grab the puppy and you're trying to calm them down by holding them, 
and they get more hyper and they start play biting you too much, you're reinforcing that behavior. You're reinforcing that hyperness because they are getting affection and attention from you just like they were with your voice. And that hyperness is being reinforced. So stop talking to your puppy so much. If you do, do a low tone. Stop touching your puppy so much and only give them affection when they're already calm and tired. They're about to take a nap and go to sleep. They are already in a state of mind of calmness and you can give them a little affection then or give them some affection as a life reward when you've mentally tired them out. Tip number three, ensure your puppy gets enough sleep, exercise, mental stimulation, and leash training and is on a strict schedule for discipline. One of the main reasons why puppies get hyper is they're not on a strict schedule. There's no leadership. There's no guidance. There's no structure. The puppy has free reign of the house. They're doing whatever they want to do. And what you want to do is go back to a past episode that I've done on creating a puppy schedule where you rotate this around throughout the day. The puppy wakes up in the morning or from a nap. You take them outside to go potty. You bring them back in. You do a little training with them for five or 10 minutes. You feed them their food and water, take them back outside to go potty, bring them back in, play a little bit with their ball or a toy, put them down for a nap. And you just rotate that around throughout the day. The nap could be one or two hours, and you're going to rotate this schedule around throughout the day until they fall asleep at night. This is the best way to ensure that your puppy's getting everything they need. They're getting sleep exercise, mental stimulation, leash training, and they're on that strict schedule for discipline. These are just three tips that I have, but I'm going to tell you that the number one tip is your voice and talking to them too much. That overstimulates a puppy. That makes a puppy hyper because the sound waves of your voice creates a resonance in your puppy's body that makes them overexcited. So you want to make sure that you put that in check first. If you have any questions about how to calm a hyper puppy, you can always contact me through the website, puppytalkpodcast.com. Have a great day. This is Dale Buchanan, host of Puppy Talk Podcast. I have an announcement of a new book that I just published called Potty Training Your Puppy. It's available on Amazon in Kindle and paperback, soon to be available on audiobook. You can find out all the details of this book using the link in the show notes. It's called Potty Training Your Puppy. It's a comprehensive book with a simple and effective way to help potty train your puppy. And it really works. Check out the link in the show notes.